let's preach together this gate must open this gate must open this gate must open it will open it shall open this gate must open amen this gate must open i see gates opening this morning hallelujah but there's a particular gate that we want it to be open amen guys we made it it is the first of june 2023 we are officially at the halfway mark of the year 2023 hallelujah this gate will open hallelujah are you coming in mother i see he says this gate will open simbua thank you for coming in make sure you stay on the rest of the broadcast e2 thank you so much make sure you indicate there this gate must open pali this gate must open i don't know what gate you've been waiting on but this gate must open this gate must open shala this gate must definitely open very quickly let's get going hallelujah i'm going to be preaching the word while i'm making certain statements in between and uh decreeing certain things hallelujah this gate must open and that gate must open you are going to preach with me you're going to make sure that you mention these gates that you want them to open in jesus mighty name the bible takes us to x chapter 12 verse 10 when i start trekking with the word this morning and in x chapter 12 verse 10 we see the scripture says when they were past the first and second god they came to the iron gate that leads to the city which opened to them of its own accord i want you to underline if you are reading the bible with me you say it opened of its own accord it just did an open sesame on its own it just decided to open on its own accord hallelujah they went out and passed on through one street and immediately the angel departed from him now let me go back to the start of the scripture x chapter 12 verse 10 yes that is where we are this gate must open as you are coming in you are typing this gate must open that is how you introduce yourself you make that declaration throughout this broadcast this is what we are standing on there are certain gates that need to be open they will be open they shall be open and they can only be open hallelujah every herald that has been laying their hands on you and laying their hands on your lord whatever it is god is going to surprise them this morning hallelujah do we have sound as well on facebook today i won't miss you hallelujah i'm gonna make sure somebody make sure that youtube and facebook have got sound yesterday when we started we i only realized at the end they said we didn't have sound if you don't have sound remember to always jump over to tiktok but i know today you are set hallelujah I want you to confess and declare with me that any single herald, the, 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 when you look at the context of Acts chapter 12, it talks about a situation where some of the disciples have been arrested. Hallelujah. And, and Herod is just oppressing left, right, and center. Hallelujah. He goes on to arrest Peter as well. But Herod at the end of the day does not win. Hallelujah. And you must determine in your mind and your spirit that Herod will not win. I don't know who is the Herod that is in your life that you need to dismantle, that you need to dethrone. But that Herod that has laid their hands on your possessions, that has laid their hand on you, on your life, your your family's life, your, your whatever it is, God will surprise them this morning because God is going to catch some people unawares. God is going to catch some people that are your enemies unawares. God is going to dethrone some people. God is going to catch some satanic plans, satanic gatherings unawares. He's going to surprise them any moment from now hallelujah i love the scripture in verse 10 when it says the gates opened by themselves hallelujah this is the ultimate that the gates of life will open by itself gates of opportunities must open by themselves gates of success must open by themselves there are certain gates we should not be struggling with come on somebody hallelujah i decree that this morning as you have woken up to join this broadcast you will not suffer gates that are closed in terms of your life the ultimate that you are going to experience hallelujah from today and beyond is that the gates of life are open for you i decree and declare that the gates of growth are open for you i decree and declare that the gates of promotion are open for you i decree and i declare that the gates of peace are open for you talk to me somebody hallelujah to me god bless you hallelujah 
the gates of life it is open this gate is open this gate must open this gate will open the gate of peace is open for you the gate of promotion is open for you the gate of success is open for you the gate of life is open for you the gate of success for your children and your children's children is open for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the revelation that I got from this scripture that there are certain gates that need to be open of its own accord before this gate there's a main gate that opens so there's a series of gates that actually need to be open hallelujah before the physical gate is open of its own accord there are some gates that are not a physical gate but they are spiritual gates that we have come to this morning to talk about to teach about to pray about that those non-physical gates must open Tell your neighbor, this gate must open. Hallelujah. You are needing a promotion this morning. This gate must open. Keep on declaring it with us in the name of Jesus Christ. This gate must open. This gate must open. Hallelujah. I see people on Mara Official appropriate. Um, uh, uh, Connie says, I am grabbing it. It is this gate of promotion that I want. As you declare it, as you decree, so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. So we're going to talk to the non-physical gate that need to open because those physical non-physical gates are a series and a string that trigger the physical gate to open talk to me somebody because we saw that the bible says that when these men were arrested the church was doing intercession the church was praying for them that the gates the physical gates should open and indeed the lord answered by sending an angel and when the angel came he came to rescue them from the prison hallelujah talk to me somebody so the gates that must open before the final gate opens the physical gate is the final gate so we need to correct certain things in the non-spiritual realm in, in in the in the spiritual realm rather we in, in the non-physical realm so that the final gate is open hallelujah somebody needs to see and have a visualization and the perception that your final gate is going to be open this morning in the mighty name of jesus the first gate that we are going to talk to is the gate of support and intercession the gate of support and intercession. Let me park here a little bit. Some people are feeling stuck at the moment. Some people know that they are stuck in their careers. They cannot help but feel stuck. They feel that they have gone too far along the path that they are going on for, to make a change. Some people are wondering, can my life be different? My life, I've got, I'm, I'm already so old. Can anything actually change? I've been in this relationship. It's like I'm so embedded. What can I change? Can I even come out? I am so cold dependent? Can I even come out of this uh, uh, um, uh, gender-based violence relationship? Can I come out of this toxic relationship? Can I come out of this toxic work, work environment? People are feeling stuck. Hallelujah. They are grinding. They are going to work back and forth, but they are in a toxic environment. They've abandoned their self-care. Talk to me, somebody. They have abandoned their personal goals. Go goals. Hallelujah. I keep declaring in that comment section, this gate must open. Hallelujah. I don't know what gate has been keeping you in your prison. What gate has been keeping you in captivity hallelujah the gate of support must open hallelujah the gate of intercession must open this morning we are beckoning this morning as we are gathered we are opening that gate by intercession in the mighty name of jesus christ the church of god is gathered this morning to open that gate in the name of jesus christ i don't know what kind of challenges that you have come across that have led you to feel unstuck sometimes you feel like you cannot go forward you cannot go backwards you are feeling stuck hallelujah everything about you is intense Intensifying. The challenges are intensifying. Talk to me, somebody. And sometimes subconsciously, without even realizing, you end up pushing your dreams. You end up deferring your dreams. You end up saying, I will do it tomorrow. I will do it tomorrow. I will do it tomorrow. And you never actually do it. You, you, you end up pushing your goals away, further and further away. You, you say, I'm doing it. I'm just raising kids and I will start living my life. No, 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 no. This gate must open. Come on, declare it. This gate must open. This gate must open. Hallelujah. You keep on saying, this person will change. I will just tolerate them a little bit longer. But they continue to be toxic to you. They continue to be a poison to you. Hallelujah. They end up, you know, your, people who end up making changes in, in, in their relationships. They, they, they start uh, 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 regarding, uh, reg or not regarding themselves rather. Hallelujah. People who are in, in a situation where they are not even looking after their health anymore. You are not looking after your fitness anymore because you are just saying, I'm just in this world just to look after other people. No, 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 no. You're going to have to mind yourself. You're going to have to declare this morning, this gate must open. Talk to me, somebody. Why are you 
feeling stuck is why I rose up this morning to ask you, why are you feeling stuck when the Lord has given you the empowerment to open that gate, to unstuck yourself, to open up yourself? Hallelujah. Stop settling for mediocrity, says the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. The Lord, the Holy Spirit wants you to stop feeling sorry for yourself. He wants you to stop uh, behaving in a mediocre fashion. He wants you to live your best life. He wants you to live your dream life. Talk to me, somebody. Live your life. Don't live your life on false objectives. Hallelujah. Don't live your life on false objectives that can leave you feeling stuck and, and frustrated. Talk to me, somebody. You need to know who you are. Come on, somebody. The Lord wants me to remind you that you must know who you are and whose you are and what he's created you to be and what you're all about. Talk to me, somebody. You need to show off your full capabilities. You need to show off your full capabilities. You need to be surrounding yourself with people who will remind you who you are and that, that, that recognize your talents, your giftings, your capabilities. Talk to me, somebody. You need to make sure that you are flourishing. You need to make sure that you are having people around you who support you. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. You need to get out of that bad relationship. Talk to me, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't care how long that relationship has been. I don't care how long you say you've been committed. You cannot be committed to poison. You cannot be committed to death. This gate must open. The gate of your life must open. Some people need to be coming out of relationships that you know that this thing is death. This thing is poison. Oh, this gate must open in the name of Jesus Christ. This gate must open. The gate of health must open. The gates of health must open. Hallelujah. You, you, God says, set goals that actually matter. Don't, don't major on the minors. You are still focused on things that don't make a difference. They don't add up to your destiny. They are not helping you to get to the end goal. Set goals that matter. Hallelujah. Don't get sucked into be making objectives on things that will not take you anywhere. You are hanging out with people that don't take you anywhere. You don't reach your objectives. Hallelujah. Let's keep tapping on that screen. Come on, let's take those likes to 10,000. I know you can do it. You keep on striving. You keep on striving, but you don't see the fruits of your striving. This gate must open. Let's declare it together. Hallelujah. You need to find out what your strengths are. You need to find out what your gifts are. Shall I God bless you. You need to find out what your passions are and follow those things through. This gate must open. You need to choose goals that align with who you are at the core of who you are. You need to choose goals that lead you to fulfilling destiny and the blueprint that God has set aside for you. You need to choose right. You need, you need your mentality. You need your discernment to be sharp. Choose the right goals that lead you to where God wants you to go. Where God is taking you, the final destination Talk to me, somebody for the final gate to be open, we need to deal with these other things. We need to deal with our mental state. We need to deal with our peace. We need to deal with the way we are making decisions. We need to deal with the way we are doing even research concerning our life. What is it that takes us out of this conundrum that we have put ourselves in? We need to make sure that we are approaching life differently. We cannot approach life the same way we have approached it in the past years. If those things have not worked for us, hallelujah, you cannot continue you making things a prayer point where actually they needed a change of strategy. So that is why we are, we are petitioning God this morning and say, God, this gate must open. Make sure you are positioning me. Lord, this gate must open. Drop into my mind and into my spirit, man, into my heart. What is it that I need to change? What I need to come out of this toxicity that I am in? What am I needing to do that will take me out of this wheel of sabotage that is continuously putting me in the, in the past and I'm living in the past tense? I'm living, doing the same mistakes, living, taking the same decisions, same people, no growth. Oh, this gate must open. Tell your neighbor, this gate must open. Hallelujah. You are in the same routine, but nothing is changing. It is not the routine that needs to change. It is you that needs to change. This gate must open. This gate must open as you are coming in. Make sure you are declaring you are receiving wisdom this morning. You are coming out of un ungodly circles. You are coming out of circles that don't build you. Circles that don't lead you anyway. The only time you are getting together, you are gossiping about people. Devil is a liar. The only time that you are getting together, you are, you are discussing things that are non-starters. They don't move you anyway. They are the same place they were five years ago. And you expect to be at a different place. Surround yourself with people that know more than what you know. Hallelujah. You're eating the same food every single week. And you're asking yourself, why is my health like this? Have you checked your nutrition? Mm -hmm. 
That's even a physical gate that you need to conquer. This gate must open. But some of the things and some of the corrections we need to do as, as individuals is that we need to check ourselves. Are we following the word of God even on our nutrition? Because we are suffering. Our health is suffering. Hallelujah. We need to progress. Tell your neighbor, this gate must open. Progression is our order of the day. This gate must open. We need to control our mindset. Hallelujah. Whenever we see ourselves going into the same cycle, same prayer point, same prayer point, same things. Why is my life like this? Ask yourself, please uh, put your hand on your chest. Why is my life like this? This gate must open. After you ask yourself, just tap yourself on the chest again. This gate must open. Rephrase the way you think. Rephrase the way you talk. Stop talking negatively. Every time you see catastrophe, you see calamity, you just voice it and you blurt it out. Oh my God, this is a mess. Things are not working out. Oh, my life is a mess. What gate will open in that environment? Awesome. You have just, speak God. Don't see the big problem. See God. God is bigger than that problem. This gate must open. Are we still declaring hallelujah? Ask yourself relevant questions every single blessed day. Hallelujah. This gate must open. Why am I going through what am I going to, through today? Get out of your comfort zone. This gate must open. Are we tracking together this morning? I hope I'm not coming in too sharp. Hallelujah. But I have to begin with a bit of rebuke. Hallelujah. Get out of your comfort zone. You cannot want to be a one percenter in this lifetime, but you live like the rest of the 99%. You keep on wishing, you keep on declaring, I will be a millionaire. How will you be a millionaire if you do not even do half or, or a quarter or think or even think the way millionaires do? Thank you, I'm Parker. You can't sleep all the time. And all the time you can say, oh, Pastor Fortune, but I only slept for three hours. No, 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 no. What were you doing the rest of the, of, of the 20, uh, 20, um, odd, 20 hours or so? Or 19 hours. What were you thinking about in that time? What did you implement in that time? You want rest. Yes, we all want rest. But if your life is unsatisfactory, this gate must open. Father, this gate must open. This gate, it must open. When you say, open the windows of heaven, pour out a blessing, pour out ideas. Ideas rule the world. Ideas change the world. These are people who got out of their comfort zone. Einstein got out of his comfort zone. The people who created the data that we, we, we are talking over, they, the ideas, it was an idea in somebody's head. And that gate had to open. The gate of wisdom must open. This gate must open. You see, God empowers us in different ways. The spiritual is meant to open up us in the physical, that we are relevant and progressing in the physical. When you leave this broadcast in the next 30 minutes, you must leave here charged up that you're going to poke your brain. The angel has definitely, the heavenly came to poke the brain when, when he, she, she, he or she came to release Peter. So today I'm here to poke you the same way that angel was. I'm your midwife this morning. Open the gate. This gate must open. God, I want the physical gate to open. What are you doing? Are you unlocking the spiritual gates? Are you opening the spiritual gates? This gate must open. Some of you is to ask, what can these hands do? What is my passion? Where am I going? This gate must open. Hallelujah. This gate must open. There are people who are physically ill. Around you, this gate must open. Could it be that I need to change their diet? Let's talk, Christians. Let's just talk. Let's talk and reason together. Some things do not need to become a prayer point, but need to be a transformation point. It just needs a transformation point. When he says, when you notice that you are missing the mark, what is sin? When you are sinning is when you miss the mark. So there's a particular mark that you are gaining, you are gunning for. If you miss the mark, that means you have committed sin, right? 
You did not uh, 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 follow the objective. You did not follow the, 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 the route that you were supposed to get to the end goal. You missed the end goal. You missed the mark. Means now you need to realign. You need to recalibrate. You need to relook. How do I ensure that I do not miss the mark of divine health? I need to live the way God wants me to live. Not only do I live with the word of God, hallelujah, but I also live by what he says in his word concerning my physical adaptation. Hallelujah. Glory to the living God. I think we've lost some visuals on YouTube and Facebook. If somebody can come and sort that out. I think we're back now. Hallelujah. Maybe it was network a bit. The spiritual gates open up. The spiritual gates need to be dealt with. The spiritual gates need to help us get to the end goal. Hallelujah. Get out of your comfort zone. Making excuses. How we eat, how we drink. And then we wonder why certain diseases are plaguing us. Ah, Pumzile, God bless you for, for, for that. You see, I like people who repent like you. You don't have proper relationships. This gate must open. This gate must open. Concerning your spiritual affairs, Shala, this gate must open. You cannot sit with people who are dancing the whole day or drinking the whole day. And expect to be a world changer. There is nothing productive that is going to come out from that conversation. They might be the most awesome people and having beautiful personalities. You cannot hold your phone the whole day on TikTok. God bless me for it, but oh, let me not repeat it before they slow down my views. This gate must open in Jesus' name. Sister, it must open. You can't... You, Rejection will be taken away, Queen. When you make up your mind and decide, God, this gate must open. Take me out of this moment of rejection. Take me out of this relationship of rejection. Change your company. This gate must open. Leave that dirty company, that company that, that is making you feel rejected. Company of people. They are bandits. They are robbing off your life. They, 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 they are, they are, they are sucking you dry. You know that these are not genuine friends. These are only friends that show up when they want you to pay the bill. You are not going anywhere. They don't discuss ideas when they are together. They only discuss about, uh, what? Let's go grooving. You can't free your mind. This gate must open. Switch off your social media sometimes. This gate must open. Have your schedule. This is when I do social media. This is when I switch off social media. This gate must open. No way, mother. No way. Get out of your comfort zone. You can't sleep and eat all day and expect to perform at a cum laude level. You can't. You will not get those distinctions. If that is your wish, that is your goal. You will not get distinctions if you are just sleeping and, and, and lazing around. Yes, A.B., God is there. God will not reject you. And God must point you to the right direction of having the friends that will not reject you. And if there is a particular pattern in your life, ask yourself, is it the way you are choosing friends? Maybe the correction is you choosing friends and not God choosing friends for you. Because I think the friendships that we choose and the relationships we enter into, the people we choose to get married to, we are the ones that make the choices. God gives us the guidance and tells you the kind of qualities you should be looking out for. But when we sit down, I want tall, dark and handsome. I didn't see God writing tall, dark and handsome. But there are certain qualities that this person needs to have. The rest is us as physical human beings. We just add to it. Amen, somebody. We are the ones who just add these extra characteristics that we want. But there's a certain bar, there's a certain benchmark that God puts as, as, as a, a balancing bar. And he says, this is the type of personality that you can go on with. This is the person that you can live with and create a life with. This is the type of husband that can look after you. But no, we go and get lazy bums. And then we, 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 we wonder like, why am I stuck with this kind of person? No, the, the red flags were there. 
They were there at the beginning. Oh my God, let me go back to the message. I don't know why God had to had to make me illustrate like this. Ah, this gate must open. Make sure as you are coming in, this gate must open. The choices you make. That your, your husband or your wife did not suddenly have a transformation inside the marriage. You saw the flags. But it was an enemy that came to manipulate you. If it was witchcraft and all these things, we can, we can deal with witchcraft is another thing that they changed while they were in the marriage. But what is it that made them get exposed to witchcraft, especially for those who are cheating? Those who decide to be committing adultery, there was something inside of you that helped you commit, you exposed you to go and, and, and fidget with adultery. Then you fidgeted with the wrong person. Then witchcraft came in into your household. Oh, Jesus. Let me leave that there. Mind my business. Let go of what is not good in your life. I should let go and mind my business. Somebody, if you want me to let it go, let me let it go. But whatever illustration that God puts in my heart, let me just express it. Oh, Jesus. Let go of things that are not good in your life. Whether it is food, whether it is people. Let go of that thing. That thing is killing you. That thing is the one that is not making the gate to open. Oh, Jesus. Let go of that which is not good. What are the qualities that you are looking for? What are your values? Make sure that you don't associate with people who don't align. Let go of what is not good. Take a chance. Do something new. Do something different this June. Do something different. You see, now you've got a perfect excuse. I don't know what weather it is in other countries, but in South Africa, it's winter. It's the perfect time to go on and hibernate. You don't have to explain to anybody why you didn't show up. You don't have to explain to anybody why you didn't come for their visits or whatever. Take this June time to say, I am transforming myself. People, food, Munash, anything. If it is not good, let it go. Your health is too important. Let it go. This gate must open. Make sure you are, you are typing it again. Reassess, improve, and repeat. You go and reassess. Reassess, improve, repeat. Reassess, improve, repeat. Improve on the things that have not been working. Reassess what has not been working in your life. What went right? What can be done better? What can I do better? You move on that path. Reassess, improve, repeat. Reassess, improve, and repeat. Reassess, improve, and repeat. Oh, Jesus, let me mind my business. Even the tiniest step that you will take, let it be a step in the right direction. Are you not tired of the same error? Are you not tired of doing the same thing wrong again and again? Reassess, improve, repeat. Reassess, improve, and repeat. The first time you can say, I fornicated, I fell. The second time, it was not a mistake, please. Reassess, improve, and repeat. There is no such thing. Nobody has two, three children. By the time you reach on baby number two, and you are baby number to baby number two, baby daddy different number two, number three, number four. It was not a mistake. There is a pattern you needed to deal with. There were certain gates that you were going through you needed to deal with. Am I communicating this morning? Oh, why am I going through what am I going through? Jesus. Let's track. We are back on X chapter 12. X chapter 12. The gate of support and intercession. The gates must be open before you get to your final gate. You need to make sure that the gate of support and the gate of intercession is open. Acts chapter 12 verse 5 says, While Peter was being kept in jail, the church never stopped praying to God for him. Who are the people who are around you? Who is praying for you? Who is your support system? Who is your support system when things don't go well at work? When things are falling apart? When, you, when your children are disrespecting you? Have you worked on your relationships? Have you worked on your, uh, on your relatives? Have you worked on yourself? Have you worked on your family to understand that this is a family thing? This is a joint venture. This is a unity type of a setup. We need to work together to make sure we make it in life. Do you get, do you get uh, supported when you come back from a, from a terrible day? 
that, 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 that people don't pile up nonsense on top of you when you come back, you are tired, you are exhausted, you are a mother, you are a wife, you are a worker, you, 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 you take nonsense at work, you come back at home and then you are just barraged by, by a lot of nonsense left, right and center. Who is your support system? Have you sat down to teach these people and say, this is the way of the Lord, this is the house of God, we stand in unity here, we support each other. We pray for each other. Are you in the kind of church environment? Do you Are you amongst believers who pray for you, who are interceding for you? Do you come at 5 a.m., at 10 p.m. when we pray like this so that we can support each other? We can be that support system. You may have the most horrible siblings that don't love you and they don't like you, they reject you, but you are here. You have no excuse. You have no option. We are here. We love you. And you can't do anything about it, Maseho. You can't do anything about it, Jester. You can't do anything about it, Parker. You can't do anything about it. You've got no option. You've got this family here, right here. Nobody has got an excuse that says, I did not hear the truth. I was not preached to the truth. You heard the truth. Pastor Fortune said it. I, I'm telling you, you are my family and that's it full stop. You receive the, uh, you come and draw at the well, whatever you want. Come and drink as much as you want. Come and buy without money. We are here for you. We are here to encourage you. We are here to, as we are praying along with our own issues, we are praying for your issues. So the least you could do is to show up. Show up and do not delegate. Why would you be absent in a family meeting? With this family meeting, we are here to deal with the gates of support and gates of intercession. Same time, teaching you to go and implement in the physical. Go and implement in the physical. Teach your family, teach your children that this is how we do family. This is how we do unity. We stand for each other. There is no such thing as black text. For those of you who are black, those of you who are white, I'll, 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 I'll rope you in so that you understand. You must look after your family. Look after your parents. You cannot finish university and decide that you're going to live your life blah, 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 and you're not going to look after your mother and father. It's a lie. We don't do that. It's just not done. I'm not saying that you are, you are bound forever and ever. But I'm saying you say thank you. You say thank you. That is how family does. The same way we make a demand or, or, or the Lord expects the children of God in the body of Christ to look after his kingdom, to expand his kingdom. When we ask you for offerings and tithes and partnerships, the same way your parents are looking at you and they are wondering, does he, re unless your father was a bum or a mother or a bum, that one is a different case. And they didn't look after you and they rejected you. That one is a different case. But when you have had responsible parents, or who did the best they could with what they had. You own it. There is no, don't go rushing off. I always tell people, you go rushing off to marry somebody and you have not done for your family. The devil is a liar. This gate must open. Some, some people are wondering, you know, sometimes we make it a joke when people are being attacked from the altars, from their father's house or their mother's house, when we trace it and say, who did you offend? Sometimes it was just a simple acknowledgement to say, thank you for helping me and raising me. Hallelujah. Don't go marry a devil that will say, I don't want to see your parents around here. Have you looked after these people? Honor your father and mother that your days on earth can be expanded. That is what the word says. Is it extended or expanded? I don't know. The state must open. Therefore, we must dismantle some nonsenses that have been happening in our lives. This is not who we are. We are people of unity. That is why some people are afraid. They don't, they're actually not even afraid. They don't want to come to church because they say, this Jesus that you preach, is it what they are teaching you in church that you should not honor your parents? You're not obligated to honor those who are who, who have uh, neglected you. Yes, there are some people who did not support you one couple. They did not even support you. They didn't pay maintenance or anything. Those ones, they must go deal with themselves. God knows. If you did not have the guts to raise me, you did not have the guts to, to or the time to, to maintain me financially, I'm not obligated. But I will pray for you. I bless you. Because God says, bless those who, who, who curse you. Bless the enemies. Yes, fine, we bless you. Awesome. But if you've got a parent, you know that they did the best they could with what they had. You must go back and honor them. 
Don't tell me you are buying your wife or husband a Lamborghini before you have built a house at your house, at your home. It's a lie. Let me move on. I'm okay. Am I, are we still okay? This gate must open. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you still checking with me? The gate of intercession must open. Facebook, I see that the, the, the image is flashing. I don't know what's going on, but please uh, jump over to the link for TikTok if you can, if, if you are having any challenges. Hallelujah. I don't know if it's the network or it's the weather. These days when you, when things are cold, you know, all gadgets seem to be doing funny things. This gate must open, Miss Boo. Welcome. When Peter was kept in jail, the church never stopped praying to God for him. Let's pray for each other. Pray for your children. Don't take things for granted. Don't assume that they are okay. Pray for them. Continue praying for them. Pray for me. Pray for Pastor Fortune. That I don't get weary, that I don't get tired, that I don't run out of resources, that I show up here to come and fight with you like this. You will miss me if I'm not around to shout at you like this. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we covenant now. We enter into a covenant now. Wherever we are in need, wherever we lack support, send the support in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray for these ones that are listening to the sound of my voice. Support is coming. Wherever you will be in need, support will come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I wish you could shout a believing amen. Next time when I ask for offering, you will know that we stand in unity. But this one I'm giving you for free. You will not run out of support. Every gate of rejection that has made your people to give up on you. Father, we come against that rejection in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command you to open for my acceptance. Every gate that has been closed, that has been closed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open up. There's somebody who's feeling like vomiting. I don't know. Maybe I rebuked too much right now. If you need to rush to the bathroom, you can rush to the bathroom. But there's a deliverance happening. You can come back and tell us about it. The covenant of answered prayers. Release it now. Father, we release the covenant of answered prayers by virtue of us dealing with this gate of support and intercession in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hashakata. Sorry, guys, I was too graphic. I, I just say it the way I feel it when it comes. Renew upon our life, Lord. Renew upon our life, Lord. Answered prayers. Answered prayers. Let the gate of answered prayers be renewed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let our testimonies show the whole world that there is a God that opens all gates. There is a God that is opening all gates in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The covenant of answered prayers is opening right now. It is for you to sign up on it. The gate of answered prayers is open right now. Father, while waiting for our deliverance, give us strength to never give up. Give us strength to never give up in the name of Jesus Christ. The second gate that we need to deal with is the gate of possibilities and options. The gate of possibilities and options is also a spiritual or a mental gate. The gate of spiritual of, of possibility and options, if you are making notes. Somebody type in that comment section, this gate must open. This gate must open. The gate of possibilities and options, that the gate that lets you know that you have opportunities and you're not going to miss your opportunities, the gate that tells you that you have got options and you're not going to miss your options, you're not going to be uh, blinded towards the options that you have. Verse 6 of Acts chapter 12 says, The night before Peter was to be put on trial, he was asleep and bound in two, by two chains. Hallelujah. A soldier was guiding him on each side. He was in between two soldiers. Now, re just imagine this illustration. Here is Peter in the center. There's a soldier here. There's a soldier here. He's, he's bound in two chains. The two soldiers are holding him like this. A soldier was guiding him on each side and two other soldiers were guarding the entrance to the jail. So there was no way physically possible that this man was going to be loose from these chains or, be, or escape from these two soldiers. The level of security against one man. How intense. They were guarding Peter. One man. Two plus two is four. Four men and also changing. This gate must open. 
the gate of options and possibilities, Shala. It must open. And once he opens the gates of possibilities in the face of whatever difficulty that you, 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 you may be going through, you need to know that other gates will open. Once God opens those gates, all other gates must open. Once possibilities and options are open, everything is a domino, domino effect. Let's check further. Father, my father, in the midst and beyond every challenge that we are going through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, cause us to see you. Let it be your prayer. Father, let me see you in the midst of challenges and difficulties. Let me see you. My God, open up the gate of options for me. Open up the gate of options for my future to know that I can also go to school, to know that I can also be somebody, to know that I can start a business without an education, to know that I can start a business without qualifications, without, without money. Open up the gates of possibilities and options. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Matthew 14, 29 says, And he said, Come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to come to Jesus. Open up the gates of possibilities that let me know that I can walk on water. That I can still come. That he's calling you this morning. He's saying, Come. You can walk on water. Come to me. Come out of the boat. Come out of your comfort zone. Come out. But seeing that the wind was strong, in verse 30, he says, He was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. You will no longer be afraid because he said, come, you rest on the word, come, you walk on the word, come, you are comfortable on the word, come, your ticket is come, C-O-M-E, he's saying, come, that is your ticket, that is your open door, that is your gate, come, and as you, as you're hearing that word, come, whenever you're feeling like you're sinking, you're drowning, you say, I will not sink, ah, I'm hearing the word, come, the Lord said, I must come, I will not drown in misery, I am going on the word, come, 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 I will not drown in misery, I will not drown in depression, in the name of Jesus Christ, I will be above and not beneath, I'm resting on the word, come, I'm walking on the, on the word in Deuteronomy that says I'm the head and not the tail, I am above only and not beneath, I'm resting on the word that says, come, I'm resting on the word that says, I am the light of the world. I'm resting on the word that it says I'm the salt of the earth. I'm resting on the word that says I'm, I'm, I'm meant for mountaintop experiences. He has set me as a city on a hill. Hallelujah. That I cannot be hidden. Hallelujah. He has set me that no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. That is the word that I'm resting on. Come, come. I'm not afraid. I am not afraid because he has not given me a spirit of fear, but he has given me a spirit of a sound mind. I'm resting on the word come that he has called me that I am a God, that I am victorious, that I'm more than an overcome. Come, I'm resting on the word, come. Come, 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 come. Come, you will not drown. I'm resting on the word that, that though it may come, I will not sink. Though the storm may come, I will not sink. I will not be lost in this, in this storm. I will go through the Red Sea. Come, come. That is a gate, the gate called come, come. From every wind that has been bullying you, come. Open the gate of possibilities, Lord, for us. Everyone who's at the sound of my voice, I'm telling you the gate of possibilities are open for you. Against every form of difficulty that has been bullying you. I don't know if it is your finances that has been bullying you or your workplace, whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever it's called. Lord, save us, oh God. Save us, oh God. Save us, oh God. Shout it out loud. Lord, save me. Shout it out three times. Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Lord, save me. You cannot save yourself. You need this, Jesus. Oh, let me fast track. I'm left with 11 minutes. The gate of understanding is another gate that you will need to go through before you reach the end gate. The gate of understanding. Whether that understanding is being sensical or non, non it's, what, is it, what is it? Common sense or not common sense. You need sense in your life. You need sense. Everything needs to make sense. It needs to have understanding. Whether it is common or an uncommon type of sense, you need sense. Verse 7. I'm reading it from the CE version. CEV version. Acts chapter 12 verse 7 says, Suddenly an angel from the Lord appeared and light flashed around in the cell. An angel from the Lord appeared in the cell. Light flashed around in the cell. The angel poked Peter in the side and woke him up. The angel, God sent us the version to poke you on the side. The light has come. 
So the angel, in the midst of this whole thing, the soldiers are there. They don't see the light. But the angel pokes Peter. He says, hey, Rena, it's time to wake up. Get up. Let's go. He poked and he woke him up and he said, let's go. So it's time to wake up and it's time to go. And in the midst of four soldiers, one plus one plus chains plus four plus two at the, at the entrance, he went out. So it's time to come out. Tell your neighbor, I'm coming out. Tell your neighbor, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. What? I'm coming out of gates of stupidity. I'm coming out. I'm coming out of gates that have remained, made me remain closed up. The gates that have been closed because of stupidity, because of missed opportunities, because of uh, not making sense. I am coming out. Today I have sense. God has given me sense. Common and the uncommon kind. I'm coming out. I'm coming out. I'm receiving the gate of insight this morning. I'm receiving the gate of instruction this morning. I have insight. I have wisdom operating inside of me. The flood of stupidity and the flood of naive, na naivety is stopping right now. I will not be naive. I will not be stupid anymore. In Jesus' name, I'm coming out. I'm coming out. Oh, Jesus. Concerning my life and my thinking, I'm coming out. I command darkness and gloom to live permanently. I command that darkness and gloom to live permanently from your life, TikTok. Facebook, YouTube, I command that to, to leave you permanently. It's, you are coming out from that situation. You will not finish this year daft and clueless and stupid. You will not. You cannot be stupid. You cannot be daft anymore. You cannot be clueless. God is granting you wisdom. You cannot say you don't know what to do. You know what to do. I'm coming out from closed doors. I'm coming out from closed gates. I'm coming out from not thinking. I'm coming out not from not being thorough. I'm coming out from not being analytical. I'm coming out from making stupid decisions and choosing the wrong friends, wrong relationships. I'm coming out. I'm coming out of the of relationships that are using me, abusing me. I'm coming out of a repetitive pattern of just having children and children and children with, with different people who don't honor me, who don't, who don't want to marry me, who are just using me. I'm coming out of dysfunctionality. Talk to me, somebody. I'm coming out of the stupidity that has not made me to that has made me not to look after my parents and not to look after my siblings. I'm coming out. I'm coming out from not being a responsible husband or a responsible wife that looks after my family. I'm coming out of that madness. This madness must stop. We must stop being statistics like everybody else as if we are not Christians. We are called by God. We are children of God. We must reflect the word of God. We must reflect the goodness of God. People must be attracted to the goodness of God. Am I communicating this morning? Shout that amen louder. Say, I'm coming out. Mm. Oh, Jesus. The fourth gate, I think this is my last gate, the gate of deliverance. You need to go through the gate of deliverance. You are coming out of stagnation. You are coming out of being stuck. You are coming out from the gate of deliverance. He said, get up. The chains fell off his hands. That's verse seven. He says, then he said, quick, get up. Quick, get up. The chains fell off his hands. I'm here to say the same thing. Quick, get up. Get up, quick. Get up quickly. Tell your neighbor, get up quickly. Get up quickly. There is no time to waste. There is no time to analyze. This is this. Get up quickly. If that person comes back who has been keeping you stuck, they've dated you for 10 years, they're still not marrying you. When they come back today to see you, you say, get up quickly. It's over. Get up quickly. It's over. Okay. Those mindsets that have been keeping you stuck that you are not moving in your life, when you feel the urge to go sit on that couch when you know that you are unemployed, you said, get up quickly. Speak to yourself and say, fortune, get up quickly. This is not your life. This is not your portion. Get up quickly. Thank you, Krista. Get up quickly. Get up quickly. It's over. Get up quickly. Whose child are you? You are kept in bondage for five, ten years. What, what are they analyzing? You, you, you are just praying. I want marital settlement for ten years. That person did not decide on year one that you are the one. What are they studying? Are they an, a, 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 what do you call it, a scientist? Is they, are you a laboratory? What are you being analyzed? Get up quickly. It's time to go. Yeah, and you are stuck. You say it's the father of my children, mother of my children. He's not doing right by you, right? Get up quickly. What are you tolerating? What is so worth you living in sin and offending God? 
because you're saying he's the father of my children. He says one day, one day. When is one day? One day will be the day when he marries somebody else and you will come back here and you say, oh, my family, pray for me. He left me. And he wasted five, ten years of your life or three years of your life. Let me mind my business. The gate of deliverance. <laughs> the gate of bondage that has been tying you to your past. I command it to open right now. I command it to open right now in the name of Jesus. Make sure you are typing this gate must open. I speak to every gate that has been keeping you in bondage in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what has been keeping you in bondage to your past. Right now, I command it to open in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every cultural bondages that have been limiting you. I command them to lose their hold from you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any form of cultural bondage, any kind of patriarchal bondage that has been keeping you bound, that has been telling you that you are no but you are you cannot make it you are just a woman i speak to that cultural bondage right now i command it to lose its hold from you in the mighty name of jesus christ i command the chains that have been tying you to the floor right now they are breaking of their own accord like the way we saw in verse 10 he says the gate open of its own accord let that gate open of its own accord i don't know what chains have been tying you to the floor i don't know what chains have been tying you to those gates right now of its own accord the chains are falling off right now of their own accord the doors are, all, are opening right now of their own accord the gate is opening hallelujah somebody tell your neighbor this gate must open off its own accord i see it this gate must open off its own accord from today you will not be deaf to your instructions from heaven from today the divine instructions of the lord shall be audible and clear in the name of jesus christ from today the word of god will break those chains permanently in your life this gate must open come on declare it declare it declare it this gate must open from today in the name of Jesus Christ. The next gate that we deal with is the gate of protection and covering. Hallelujah. He, he says, I, you, you deal with the gate of protection and covering. He will cover you. He will make sure that your, your, your nakedness is removed. Your lack is removed. He removes nakedness and he removes that sense of lack. He is covering you. Hallelujah. Verse 8 of Acts chapter 12 says, The angel said, Get dressed and put on your sandals. Peter said, Did as he was told. Look at the instruction that has been followed. Discipline. He, then he, the angel said, Now put on your coat and follow me. Now this morning, the word has come to liberate you. Put on your coat and follow Jesus. Put on your coat and follow Jesus. Put on your sandals. It's time to go. Hallelujah. Every force, every power that has kept you naked today, I command it to be broken in the name of Jesus. Christ. I don't know what, what has helped care kept you hold back or held back hallelujah right now i command it to be broken in the name of jesus christ every gate of nakedness that has kept you hiding for years and you are naked you are scared to step out you are scared to be exposed in the name of jesus christ i command that gate to open up in the name of jesus christ i command that gate to open up and you will receive the covering of the lord the anointing of the lord will cover you in the mighty name of jesus christ father i speak to the financial gates to open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak to the emotional gates to open in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Close our finances, oh God. Give us a coat over our finances. Give us a coat over our finances. Give us a coat over our finances. Give us a coat over our emotions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever has been pulling us back emotionally, people who have been abusing us emotionally, Father, close us up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is a breakthrough coming our way in the name of Jesus Christ. We are ready for the breakthrough we are dressed up for the breakthrough lord clothe us up dress us up oh god remove shame from our sight in the name of jesus christ remove shame from our lives in the mighty name of jesus christ oh jesus the gate of visions and dreams. Father, we speak to the gates of visions and dreams. We speak to the visions of dreams. Hallelujah. Verse 9 of Acts chapter 12 says Peter left with the angel, but he thought everything was only a dream. When Peter saw and he left with the angel, he was still thinking, am I dreaming or am I in the physical? Is this thing really happening? That is how God, when God steps in, like he's stepping into in your life this morning, he is saying it would be like a dream. When the Lord said the captivity of Zion, it was like them who dreamed. Talk to me, somebody. It was, it was like a dream. Peter looked back. He says, oh, is this only a dream? 
Hallelujah. From now again, I decree and I declare that Kathy, you will dream again. I decree that Figila, you will dream again. Marika Lady, you will dream again. Masuha, you will dream again. Fulfilling the purpose, you will dream again. Oh, Kariyaba Sondoni Amasonda, let me not let you, Vimba, uh, 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 you will dream again. Snare, you will dream again. You are ready for a breakthrough. You are charging forward. You will dream again. You will dream again. I command that power that has been holding you back, telling you you will not dream. I command that you will dream again. Somebody help me declare it to somebody. Text somebody and tell them that you will dream again. The gate of dreaming again is open again. You will dream again. You will dream dreams. You will see visions. Hallelujah. You will prophesy to yourself. You will not be tired. But you will dream again. You are sh dream. Shall I dream again? Go, baby girl. Dream again. Everything concerning you, your dreams, your visions. Hallelujah. It's coming to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion, they were like them who dreamed. Hallelujah. The Lord turned I turn again our captivity, oh God. Oh Lord, our Kariyama Sunda. The Lord is turning again your captivity. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, Lord, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Oh Jesus. The final gate that you will have to go through is the gate through of breakthrough. The gate of breakthrough, that is the iron gate. The iron gate that you will have to go through is the gate of breakthrough. Hallelujah. Verse 10, let's go back. He says they went past the two groups of soldiers and when they came to the iron gate to the city, it opened by itself. Tell your neighbor, it will open by itself. It will open by itself. It will open by itself. It opened to them of its own accord. Was the gate having a mind? Was the gate having a brain? But that gate opened by itself. I don't know what it was thinking. Nobody was opening it. Nobody was holding the remote. I see the gate opening by itself. I see Mendeza, your gate is opening by itself. Medically, the gate is opening by itself. Patsy, the gate is opening by itself. Kathy, it's opening by itself. Happy 23, it's opening by itself. Sandy, do you see the gate is opening? Anna, the gate is opening by itself. Oh, Jesus, the gate will open up by itself in the name of Jesus. Father, we command the iron gate to open by itself. In the name of Jesus, let the gate open by itself. The gate of fortune is opening by itself. The gate of Caroline is opening by itself. Christos gate is opening by itself. Miss Boo's gate is opening by itself. Happy's gate is opening by itself. Marian, Vimbai, Nyawa, the gate is opening by itself. Come on, declare it, guys. It is opening by itself. We have prayed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we declare it in the mighty name of Jesus. We have decreed it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Legislating. Ah, it is opening by itself in the name of Jesus. Father, let the gates open by themselves. Let the gates open up. The <laughs> they shall open up to you in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Thus says the Lord to his anointed. Oh, whose right hand he's holding. He says, you will subdue nations. You will hack the Abbasunda. He will lose the loins of kings to open up for you. The two lived gates, the gates shall not be shut. Hear the prophetic word of the Lord. He says, that says, say to my anointed, say to those who are the sound of your voice, fortune, that the gates shall not be shut. The iron gate shall open by itself. It shall open by itself in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we begin to pray with the same words I have preached and taught, Lord, I prophesy, I decree and I declare that, Lord, this is the day you have made for us, Lord. This is the day when you have showed us that you are faithful. This is the day that that we choose to rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the gift of abundant life, that we do not have mediocre lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every door that has been shut, every gate that has been shut for us, let it open for us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we command the gates of breakthrough that have been shut against us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They open by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I decree and I declare, everybody who is at the sound of my voice, I command the gates of success to be open for them in the name of 
Jesus Christ. Let their gates of success be opened by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to the gates of promotion. Let them be opened by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I speak to the gates of the helpers of destiny. Let them be opened by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could type a believing amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Open by fire. Every gate that has been shut against our prosperity. Oh, Holy Ghost. Open by fire. Every gate that has been shut against our marriages, against our businesses. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Holy Ghost. Open by thunder. Every gate that has been shut against our fruitfulness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Holy Ghost. Let our gates to the promised land be open. In the name of Jesus Christ. The gates to your promised land is being opened by its own accord. It's opening by itself. By itself. It is opening of its own accord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, lift up all your heads. All ye gates. Let the King of Glory come in. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, lift up all the, all the heads. Yes, all ye everlasting doors. All ye everlasting gates. Let the King of Glory visit us today. In the name of Jesus. Celebration the King of Glory is visiting you today. My servant, the King of Glory, is visiting you today in the name of Jesus. The Lord is visiting you today. The King of Glory shall visit you today. The heads are lifted. The gates are opened in the name of Jesus. Every wall of Jericho that has been blocking your access to the promised land fall down flat in the name of Jesus. We bring it down every single wall of Jericho that has been speaking against your promised land. Any wall that has been saying you will not enter your promised land. I command, command it to fall down. I command it to fall down. Every giant that has been speaking against you, I come against every Goliath. Any form of personality that has been saying that you will not occupy your land. In the mighty name of Jesus, what are you waiting for? Pick up your bags and go. I don't know what giant you are facing. I don't know if it is a giant of a strange woman. I don't know if it is a giant of a strange man who has taken away your spouse. Take your load, take your bags and go, because you will not suffer the wrath of God the way it's coming your way. Take your wrath and go, take your bags and go. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, what are you waiting for? Anybody who is scattering anybody's marriage, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come for you today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we come against any spirit of adultery. In the mighty name of Jesus, my people shall no longer be ashamed. My people shall be restored. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I come against any satanic occupier that is occupying my seat at work, who occupying my seat of promotion, occupying my seat of applications. Lord, any satanic power, any satanic personality that is sitting on my application saying that I will not be called for that interview. You are a liar. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will enter my promised land. Are you declaring this with me? As you shout your amen, you're tapping it in for yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we, 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 we possess our inheritance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the land favor you. Let the heavens favor you. Let the sun favor you. Let the moon favor you. Let everything in the elements of the earth and or, or, or in the world of God, let it favor us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this week shall present to us open doors and open gates. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This week shall present to you gates of achievement, gates of achievement, gates of breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I wish you could shout that amen louder. Oh, divine open doors, open up. Oh, divine open gates, open up in the name of Jesus Christ. You will open up and you will remain open. You will not be shut in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let great gates open for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are next in line for an undeniable breakthrough. You are next in line for an incontestable breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see miracles happen for you. Nobody can contest it. Nobody can stop it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Snare, I wish you could shout that amen louder and shout that amen well. The Lord is releasing the keys of David. He says, I have given you the keys of David that open a door that no man can shut. Talk to me, somebody. The keys of David. David also open up the gates that no man can shut. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will experience an outpouring of the blessings of God today and beyond. You will experience the outpouring of blessings for your family and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your household will see the outpouring of the blessings of
of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, men and women shall rise and begin to bless you and your family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will find favor from unusual places, unusual quarters, and unusual people. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout, let my gates open. In the name of Jesus, this gate must open. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for opening doors for us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. This gate must open. This gate must open. Father, I thank you for every person that woke up this morning to come into contact with you, Lord, to come in contact with your word of God. Lord, as we have prayed, Father God, we send forth our prayers. We send forth our declarations, Father God. We call it done. It can never be otherwise. The devil cannot amend it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we thank you. This gate shall open in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, YouTube. God bless you, Facebook. Remember to subscribe to the channel that you are in. Hallelujah. Make sure you subscribe and you click like. Make sure you click like even on Facebook. Make sure you are following the host account that you're on. TikTok, let's do the same thing. Let's make sure you are following the host account. Make sure you are clicking uh, follow. You are clicking. If you want to subscribe, if you want to bless the ministry, you are welcome to do that. You can also do it on the YouTube platform. There is a sign there. Fortune L Online is my handle on YouTube. Make sure that you are following me across all social media platforms. You can follow me. You want to send a message, you send it on um, um Instagram. God bless you and God bless you. I love you so much. I see you guys on uh, Facebook. Sorry about yesterday, okay? But today you are flying high. I see that your pulse is, is, is pulsating in Jesus' name. You are blessed. You are favored. You are above and you can never be beneath. Go out and conquer. God bless you.